Well, after uh, changing my speed controller here, I wanted to take the boat out for a test drive. So, of course, I went to the farthest destination I could possibly ever go, and with four kids in the boat. <laughs> and we actually went to a swap meet at a marina. And I had no idea what it was going to be like, but a guy I know is like, hey, there's a swap meet tomorrow at the marina. And I was like, all right, I guess we should go. So we got up at 7.30 this morning and drove here. Got here at about like 10.20? 10, 10, no, I think that's, we'd already parked by then, a little bit after 10. So yeah, we got here faster than we normally do. Before it was taking me like three and a half to four hours to get here. Uh, yeah, and this time it was under three hours. So yeah, this speed controller is definitely running the, the motor faster than the, the, the electric one I had before. And uh, it's also like super efficient because right now the speed controller is doing nothing. Um, right now the motor is just shorted directly to the batteries. Like there's nothing in between, no lossage of power through any electronics or anything. So it's, it's as efficient as you can get. And that's the speed we've been driving the whole way. Um, the only time this kind of speed controller is less efficient is this is just a resistive coil in case anyone missed the video where I was putting it in. So my speed control in this boat is just a resistor. Um, so it, it wastes some electricity as heat when I'm going at a lower speed, but I almost always drive at full speed anyway. We're going full speed right now, it's not that fast. Anyway, we went to the swap meet and apparently there's like a significant free section because as the swap meet goes on people just start giving stuff away and like putting stuff in a section that's just labeled free because it's stuff they just want to get rid of you know because a lot of people live on boats and they don't have space so I picked up a whole bunch of like little stainless steel hardware which is pretty awesome I wasn't expecting uh, I, I don't know I guess I wasn't expecting anything in particular but that totally made the trip worth it anyway that was back over there so right now we're going to a friend's house to have lunch and then we'll drive home for a few more hours so right now we got some big waves coming in because a, a boat went by this boat handles waves pretty well though but look man look at the water down here isn't that gorgeous i love living here I'm really hoping the wind is not screwing up my microphone too bad. Apologies if it is. But anyway, here's some beautiful scenery. I'm just going to put the camera down here. Oh, isn't that awesome? I used to dream about this. Oh, I love, I love being here. Oh, <laughs> amongst the many free things we picked up, uh, there were a whole bunch, some lady was like, please take these stickers. So we've got like a thousand stickers now. Like just sheets of stickers. Well, are you going to go home and put them all over the house? <laughs> oh, you're going to make them doll stuff. Realistic looking food stickers. So they're going to turn them into doll food. Got it. Oh, anyway, uh, one of the points of this trip was to just check that, uh, you know, everything was functioning right and everything is amazing. Oh, I should also mention the other reason we got here kind of fast today is because yesterday I went out and I swam under the boat for like an hour just cleaning just cleaning everything off. Seaweed, any barnacles, just anything. So the boat's nice and smooth. between the cracks.
almost back home and almost out of light ah, I got plenty of light to get home it's only like another mile oh you back awake this one slept most of the way back The boat has been performing perfectly. Wrong, wrong ghost driving. Okay, let's arrive at home. I don't have to turn it off. So when I was at the swap meet, I picked up a bag of Velcro, you know, for sewing stuff. A whole bunch of little, just like stainless steel knickknacks and I think everything in here I just got for free. Because they were, you know, people were giving away lots of stuff. People live on boats, have limited spaces, a brand new, not even open thing of rivets. Beauty. Some pulleys and, you know, just like bits and pieces of stuff. There's a thing with a missing part, a sail uh, thing. I don't know what you call it. Bunch of clippity clips. Oh, I got one of these too. That's pretty sweet. The the nuts and uh, washers are even in here somewhere. Yeah, a couple little brass things. Yeah, totally worth the trip. Good stuff. The coolest thing is the performance of the boat. So last time I did that trip. Now, when, when, I, when I went on the way there, I stopped at a swap meet and then went to a dock. However, on the way back, we went straight from a dock where I normally pick up packages straight to home. And that's a trip I've timed before, which used to be almost four hours. Like three hours, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, you know, depending on wind and whatever. But on the way back, it took less than three hours this time. Like, like knocked almost an hour off the time, just switching that uh, speed controller. From the from the six hundred and fifty dollar fancy overcomplicated electronic speed controller to this five dollar coil of wire it took an hour off the trip because <laughs> the speed controller was limiting the oh, oh it's so good so good.